forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Chao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Ce. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. Liu Bei has yet to find a land and is currently taking refuge with Liu Biao in Jing. He has given Xin Ye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao. A land in which people do not suffer. A land free from sorrow and the misery of war. Cao Cao would laugh at the very idea. While Sun Quan would choose a different path. But Master Liu Bei believes in this vision. Even when it troubles him and brings him pain, he continues to strive to realize his noble dream. The way of virtue and benevolence, which all others in this age of war and strife have abandoned as impossible. Jugo Liang. Known as the Sleeping Dragon, he was one of the most brilliant strategists of his time. He studied military tactics along with Xu Xu and others as disciples of the famed strategist Simo Hui of Jing province. Afterwards, he retreated to a life of solitude along with his wife, Yue Ying. However, he was later paid three visits by Liu Bei and agreed to serve as a strategist. The time had come for him to wield his vast intellect in order to help create a land of virtue. He will not surrender. I wish to do what I can to help make that grand ambition a reality. There is currently no army in the land which can match that of Cao Cao. No one can hope to defeat Cao Cao alone. The second most powerful force is led by Sun Quan of Jiandong. His army is no match for Cao Cao's, but he has a solid base in Jiandong, populated with loyal followers. In order to take the first steps toward the land you dream of, Master Liu Bei, we must develop enough strength to stand alongside these two great forces. But as you know, Zhuge Liang, I have no home of my own. What you speak of is impossible. If we can secure a land upon which to stand and allow your grand ambition to gather more followers, then there is every chance it could happen. Cao Cao seized upon a faded moment in time, while Sun Quan used the power of a land base. For you, my lord, the key to drawing the people to you is in your virtue and benevolence. You must walk the path of righteousness. Once you have begun, we will join forces with Sun Quan, and together we will oppose Cao Cao. The path of righteousness. That is the road for me. Your words have cleared the fog from my mind. I see clearly now a vision for the future. Allow me once more to formally request your help. Will you guide me as my strategist? Help me defeat Cao Cao and enable me to build a land of peace? I will. I pledge to use every ounce of my mental acuity to support your grand ambition, my lord.
Zhuge Lian, I am putting you in charge of our forces. You must lead us safely out of this crisis. Very well. I will find a way to repel Cao Cao's forces. Wait just a minute, brother. I can understand why you want to rely on a strategist, but we don't know anything about this guy. I don't feel comfortable with him ordering me around. I must say that I feel Zhang Fei has a point. It is one thing for him to propose a strategy, but another matter entirely to entrust the command of the entire army to a newcomer. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. I trust Zhuge Liang. I ask that you comply with his orders. Well, if you say so, brother. Very well. Thank you both for understanding. Now, if you will allow me, I would like to explain the plan. The enemies outnumber us significantly. In order to overcome this deficiency, I intend to overcome Cao Cao's forces with a fire attack. Huh, you really think it'll be that easy? Give him a chance, Zhang Fei. Victory will be impossible without your help. I hope you will give your all for our cause. The pursuit of Cao Cao's forces will be stopped here at Baowenpo. Coordination between the various units will be the key to victory in this battle. Everyone! I ask that you follow my directives. <laughs> 